2025 has been historic year for plasma physics, and it is only just beginning. We have breakthroughs that could reshape our understanding of energy, space travel, and the universe itself. Get ready because today we are going to explore the top five plasma breakthroughs in the first two months of 2025 alone. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Adrian, and this is going to be a video you are definitely going to want to stick around to the end for because the last one may make you think differently about the stars and the space you see at night. Let's begin with the Tokamak Plasma Record. In February of this year, the West Tokamak in France set a new world record by sustaining plasma for 1,337 seconds. That equates to about 22 minutes and 17 seconds. This plasma record reached temperatures of a shocking 50 million degrees Celsius, marking a major milestone in long duration plasma control. This achievement surpassed the previous record set just two weeks earlier by China's East Tokamak, and we saw a 25% improvement in sustained plasma duration. Imagine where we will be by the end of the year. This is important because sustaining plasma for long durations is critical for developing practical fusion energy, as future reactors will need to operate continuously for hours or longer. West's success validates superconducting magnet technology and actively cooled reactor walls, both of which will be essential for the international thermonuclear experimental reactor, which I will refer to as ITER from here on. This milestone provides key operational data to help ITER a necessary step towards providing fusion energy in the future. So what's next for this team? Well, the West team is now working hard to push plasma discharges to higher temperatures and explore plasma durations beyond 20 minutes Researchers are refining heat management techniques to protect reactor components while sustaining even hotter and denser plasma conditions. These insights will help guide ITER's operational strategies and influence the design of future commercial grid-scale fusion power plants. And while we're making incredible progress towards harnessing fusion energy on Earth, Plasma research is also revolutionizing how we think about space travel. Up next for number two, we have hidden plasma structures in space propulsion. Scientists at the University of Virginia and the University of Southern California discovered unexpected electron behavior within plasma beams emitted by electric propulsion thrusters. Using advanced Vlazov simulations, they found that electrons don't move as previously predicted. Instead of a uniform distribution, electrons in the plasma beam follow a near Maxwellian or bell curve shape along the beam's direction, but in transverse direction, they form a top hat shape. A sharp, edged, non-uniform pattern emerges. Additionally, electron heat flux, how thermal energy moves through plasma, primarily follows the beam's direction, a dynamic that was not fully accounted for in previous models. This is important because electric propulsion is crucial for deep space travel. It's far more fuel efficient than chemical rockets, making it essential for missions to Mars and beyond. Electric propulsion works by ionizing a gas, usually xenon, and accelerating the charged particles using electric fields producing a high-speed plasma beam that propels the spacecraft forward. However, the plasma beam isn't just exhaust. It directly interacts with the spacecraft, and if not fully understood, it can cause serious problems. They found that some electrons scatter in unexpected ways, flowing backwards and damaging spacecraft components, like solar panels or antennas over long missions. Ultimately, by understanding how electrons actually behave in plasma beams, engineers can improve thruster designs, reducing unwanted heat loss, and increase propulsion efficiency, allowing spacecrafts to travel faster and farther with less fuel. So what does this team have next on their agenda? 
Well, engineers are going to use this new understanding of electron motion to optimize electric thruster designs for future deep space missions. Future research will focus on controlling the shape of electron velocity distributions to reduce energy loss and unwanted backflow of charged particles. The next generation of electric thrusters could use real-time plasma adjustments based on these findings, making propulsion systems more efficient and longer lasting for multi-year missions. While these unexpected electron behaviors are changing how we think about space propulsion, AI is now transforming how we study and control plasma here on Earth. Up next for number three, we have AI enhanced simulation for fusion cores. Researchers at MIT's Plasma Science and Fusion Center developed AI enhanced simulations to predict how plasma will behave in fusion reactors like the ITER before they are even switched on. Using a combination of C Gyro, a high fidelity plasma turbulence simulation, and portals, an AI based machine learning framework, scientists were able to create a surrogate model that dramatically reduces the time needed to simulate plasma behavior. These AI powered simulations confirmed that the ITER's baseline configuration should be able to generate 10 times more energy than the external heating power it receives, validating its design. The AI model also revealed an alternative operating scenario in which ITER could achieve similar energy outputs with about half the input power, a discovery that could improve overall fusion efficiency. This is important because fusion energy requires extreme precision. Small instabilities in plasma can cause major disruptions shutting down reactors. Traditionally, plasma simulations took massive amounts of computing power and were time-intensive, slowing down fusion research. By using AI to build surrogate models, scientists can simulate fusion conditions in a fraction of the time, allowing for faster testing and design improvements. AI models may soon be integrated into live plasma experiments, allowing reactors to adjust conditions in real time to maximize stability. These breakthroughs bring us closer to self-sustaining fusion power, which could provide a clean, nearly limitless energy source for the future. While AI is helping us to better understand and control plasma and fusion reactors, scientists studying Earth's magnetosphere have discovered plasma behaving in ways they never expected. Up next for number four, we have the discovery of chorus waves detected far in our magnetosphere. Scientists have detected chorus waves, which are split bursts of electromagnetic energy 100,000 miles from Earth in a region where they had never been observed before. Chorus waves earn their name because when converted to audio signals, they sound like a bird song or chirping tones. However, space is a vacuum and does not transmit sound. Previously, chorus waves were only detected about 32,000 miles from Earth, near the Van Allen radiation belt. The new detection challenges existing theories about how they form. The discovery was made using NASA's Magnetospheric Multiscale Mission, which consists of four satellites studying Earth's magnetosphere. Overall, this discovery is important because chorus waves accelerate electrons to high energies, sometimes creating killer electrons that can damage satellites and pose risks to astronauts. Until now, scientists only thought chorus waves formed near strong dipolar magnetic fields, something with a north and south pole like Earth. This new detection suggests chorus waves can form in highly stretched, weaker magnetic field regions, hinting at a new possible formation mechanism. One theory suggests they are caused by plasma instabilities, producing radiation that interacts with other electrons. However, in this newly detected region, the chorus waves may instead be caused by shifts in frequency across the magnetic field. Ultimately, it requires further study. One thing that scientists also discovered here was an electron hole, or the absence of electrons in a particular spot in the wave, which may provide key evidence 
supporting their chorus wave formation process. Further studies will also explore how chorus waves influence Earth's radiation belts, space weather, and potential hazards to spacecrafts and astronauts. While these newly detected chorus waves challenge our understanding of Earth's magnetosphere, astronomers have also discovered something even larger. Kipu, the biggest cosmic structure ever found. In February of this year, astronomers discovered Kipu, the largest known cosmic structure spanning 1.3 billion light years and contains 200 quadrillion solar masses. Kipu is part of a larger discovery. Researchers have identified a total of five superstructures, with Kipu being the most massive, but together they contain 45% of the galaxy clusters, 30% of the galaxies, 25% of the total matter, and occupy only 13% of the surveyed cosmic volume. Kipu was named after the Incan Kipu, an ancient record-keeping system using knotted cords. This is because its structure resembles a long cosmic filament with smaller side filaments. Ultimately, this finding is important because Kipu and its neighboring superstructures distort cosmological measurements, leaving their imprints on the cosmic microwave background, or CMB, the relic radiation of the Big Bang. Additionally, their immense gravitational pull alters sky images through large-scale gravitational lensing, introducing artifacts in our observations of deep space. The superstructures also influence the Hubble constant, a fundamental value describing how fast the universe is expanding. Their mass affects large-scale streaming motions, making it harder to separate cosmic expansion from local gravitational effects. Despite their enormous scale, simulations based on the Lambda CDM cosmology models successfully reproduce structures like Kipu, reinforcing the accuracy of their models. So what's next for them? Astronomers are conducting detailed mapping of Kipu to study its mass, structure, and interactions with the surrounding universe. Ultimately, future studies will focus on how superstructures like Kipu evolve over time and whether they break apart into smaller structures over the course of billions of years. They also want to explore how plasma within Kipu's vast cosmic filaments interact with magnetic fields potentially revealing new aspects of large-scale cosmic plasma physics. More observations will determine whether similar massive superstructures exist elsewhere or if Kipu is a unique cosmic anomaly. The discovery of Kipu and its neighboring superstructures not only expands our understanding of the universe's vastness, but also raises critical questions about the role of cosmic filaments in shaping large-scale structures. Well, that's it. There are the top five discoveries in plasma physics and space. Let me know if you think I missed anything. Drop it in the comments below so we can all learn about it. This year has been monumental for plasma physics, space exploration, and cosmology, and it has just begun. We just examined record-breaking fusion experiments, unexpected plasma behavior and space propulsion. We saw how AI can be used to revolutionize how we study and control plasma. We learned about strange coarse waves detected deep in space. And for me, my favorite was Kipu, the largest structure ever detected in the universe. I mean, 1.3 billion light years, huge. It just goes to show us how much we still have to learn, not only here at home on Earth, but in the space and the universe around. Let me know which one of these discoveries you find to be the most fascinating. And again, if I missed anything, put it in the comments below. Regardless, one thing is clear. Plasma is at the heart of some of the most important breakthroughs in science today. Whether powering the stars, driving spacecrafts, or shaping the universe itself, Plasma is a force that demands our attention. If you've enjoyed this video, help other curious minds join the journey. Hit like, share it with a friend, or subscribe to explore more together. As always, may your day be filled with learning and curiosity. Until next time, take care.